Hi, I'm Carl and welcome to NAC 3D Designs. In today's episode, we're going to go ahead and install our two rollers into our main chassis assembly. So let's get started. All right, in this segment, we're going to go ahead and install our two rollers. For this segment, you will need your rollers, your framework, your stepper motor to run your rollers, a 40 millimeter Noctua fan, four 6202 2RS bearings, seven half inch shaft collars, a half inch 60 tooth pulley, the timing belt, four metric five by 30 millimeter bolts, 16 metric five by 16 millimeter bolts, four metric three by 25 millimeter bolts, four metric three star washers, two metric three by 12 millimeter bolts, four metric five square nuts and your four bearing mounts the three regular ones and the one for mounting your roller stepper and of course tools to do all this now one thing I may have mentioned earlier and I can't remember if I did so we're gonna just go cover it one more time we're gonna go ahead and mount this knock to a fan on our E3D 5 to 1 stepper now it did not come with this nice little heat sink on it to put this on, you need to remove these two stepper screws and replace them with two metric 3 by 35 millimeter screws so you can clamp this on there. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and mount our cooling fan onto this. We're just going to take, set that on top of the grill and use those two metric 3 by 12 millimeter screws. You're going to put it label down. Label down is always the direction the wind is blowing. And there's even a little arrow. I don't know if you can see it. Right there that shows you it's blowing this way. There are two screws holding that fan on. So the roller is assembled. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and attach our stepper. Yeah, the roller is The stepper is assembled. We're going to attach that to our slide mount. For the bearings, so you're going to need these four metric three by 25 millimeter screws and the four star washers. Go ahead and put them on there. Now you have your four holes right here on your long slider, and we put our heat sets in the back. And go ahead and mount this on here like this. I want to leave it loose enough that we can still just position. So now I can still move back and forth. I can still tighten this one up a little bit more. Okay. We don't want to do anything more on this one quite yet, other than install our bearing and one of our square nuts. Make sure it's all the way down. Let's tear the first one, and we're going to do the same thing for these. Bearing and a square nut. All right, now the next thing we need to do is start installing our rollers. So we're gonna start with the easy end first. We will need 
four shaft collars. Put on a roller. Now you've got two ends to your roller. One has just a little more shaft length on it than the other end. We want the long side on the side of your large opening. And I did this the wrong way. Over here is the front. So as I said, we're gonna need four shaft collars. And I need my Allen wrench. I'm going to put two on each end. Lock the inside one in just to make sure our roller doesn't move around. And I'm just going to snug this one for a moment. So we want our long side over here on the side with the big opening where our slide carriage comes in this way. And you take your bearing mount, you're going to put it with the square nut towards the outside. Just slides right in the rail, like so. Same thing with the other side. All right, so now we have the roller in. I'm pulling it towards the same side we want the slide carriage to come on. So I'm gonna pull the roller to the far you know, left when you're facing the front of the printer. And I'm gonna take that outer collar and slide it all the way to the outset edge and tighten it up. And then do the same thing on this side, which actually is both collars right up against each other and it has next to no movement. So in fact, we're gonna go ahead and set it up that way because it looks nicer. So you're gonna butt this end up with your two collars right up against the roller and the bearing. And then you'll space this out to keep it locked in place to track. Get these both flush, it should spin nice and smooth. Now we're going to do the same thing basically on the other end with a few minor differences. On this end we're going to start by mounting the stepper bearing mount first and you can slide it part way in like so. And we can get our other bearing ready to go in. Now on this one here, on this side, on the long side, you're gonna take and put your 60 tooth pulley on and flush it up against, whoops, the other direction though. Put it flush against the, the roller. And then one shaft collar. And then on the other end, you're gonna put your two shaft collars on.
So this roller has two shaft collars on one end and your 60 tooth and a shaft collar on the other end. Oops, and I forgot one thing. Can't put a belt on once it's in place now, can we? So we're gonna put our belt in place and go ahead and slide the roller into the bearings. Go ahead and put our belt on our stepper. It might be easier actually to put it on the stepper first. And then do old mechanics trick and start it on the top and just turn it till it drops in place. I think the next thing I'm gonna have to do is we're gonna have to put the end caps on to hold this in place which I forgot to mention, we needed our four end caps. So you need these four end caps. You have four, two wide ones, two narrow ones. Wide ones go up here at the front, the narrow ones go at the back. And they literally snap right into the extrusion. They're actually keyed. Now you're going to make sure this hole lines up on the opening inside the center of the C channel. And that's where we'll run these long M3 bolts through. And then the four corners will be held in by the 16 millimeters. I do apologize, I know a lot of this seems to be like right out of camera shot. I will give you guys a nice kind of flyover with the camera here once I'm done so you can see everything, how it's put together up close. Push down a little bit, maybe give you guys a better view of this end. Same thing, now I use the wider ones, it's gonna hang out a little bit on this one side. This will give you something to butt the bottom bracket to to hold your steppers so it knows how far forward to go. Ground it out at the front. Make sure the square nut is all the way back against the back of the slot. And you're going to put your long bolt down the center hole on the end cap. For now I'm just cranking these all down flush tight. Obviously we're going to want to let them weigh off before we put the belt on there. So we can pull it tight and not, have it, not try and stretch it.
So now we have all four end caps and both rollers installed. The only thing left to do is to tension our belt down there. So we'll pull it back down this way for us. Try and center it under the camera so we can see what we're doing. I think what I'm going to try doing here is we're just going to try putting a clamp on this. Yep, this should work. Belt's nice and tight. Now I'm going to go ahead and tighten down our screws that are right here. Actually, I'm just going to tighten one for the moment because I realize it's twisting. Now I've got it pulled at the bottom. Go ahead and tighten up the second one. Now last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and I'm going to make sure all my set screws on my collars and my pulley are nice and tight. Okay, they're all tight. Now I can flip this thing back over. And the only thing left to check is to see how straight we're tracking with the belt. Keeps drifting out this outside, but it's not going any further, so I think we're good. Now the grand tour I promised you. See there is our end cap. How the pulleys mounted in with the stepper motor. You can see your adjustment screws right there for adjusting your belt adjusting your belt tension. The stepper with the cooling fan. Cap on this side with both shaft collars mounted. As I said, stepper is on the same side as our large opening for our slide tray. And then we come down to this end here. Here's our wider end. Here's our stop, so when we have our stepper mounts, they're going to slide right up against this and flush to the front, so we know they're all, oops, sorry, all flush to the end here, nice and tight. This right here, see the lip? Our stepper mounts are going to slide right up against this. There's our wider caps. Here's our shaft collar spacing this out. Wider one with the lip here, our two shaft collars. That completes installing our rollers. All right, so that wraps up today's episode. Now remember, if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for updates. If you'd like to help support this build or our future projects, there is a PayPal me link and an Amazon wishlist link in the description below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.